So Trisha Paytas just took to Instagram as well as Twitter to expose Jason Nash as a cheater and we definitely need to talk about this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And make sure you're following me over on Twitter and Instagram at The Rewired Soul because I love engaging with all of you beautiful, beautiful people out there. All right, so check it out. I was gonna go to bed because I wanna wake up early and watch Black Mirror, but I wasn't tired. And then next thing you know, I found out about this. So yes, I know I just did a Trisha Paytas video. That was something that was on my mind, but I'm here to bring you the latest news and everything like that. So I was like, whatever. I will talk about this because this is something that has been happening recently, like we just saw it happen with Tana Mojo. But anyways, if you're gonna watch Black Mirror, make sure you stay tuned because I will be doing episode breakdowns for this season of Black Mirror, even though it's only three episodes. But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna play you the whole Instagram story clip from Trisha Paytas. So here's her explanation of what she found out. So y'all remember that guy that I thought was so great? <laughs> It's like, I finally had a good boyfriend and he lost it. I ruined it. He was so loyal and wonderful. Turns out, I just got sent text messages with his old phone number, the phone number he had the whole time we were dating, of him cheating on me. Not once, twice, and maybe more times than that. So, suffice to say, I hate cheaters more than anything in the world i actually didn't lose anything because that's a fucking creep and a fucking pervert anyways so fucking good riddance i can finally free myself i was like so like oh my god i lost the one good guy <sighs> and he's actually disgusting i hope i don't have a fucking std like hopefully he wrapped that shit up and yeah good riddance goodbye i'm not gonna make a video on it i don't give a shit about the situation you're a fucking Cheater, cheater, swim, rotten hell for all I care. Thank you, honestly. Fucking move on that I needed to get over this fucking asshole. I was like kind of in shock, but then again, I'm kind of not. <laughs> like, it all actually makes sense, which is nice because that's closure onto itself. <sighs> like I said, if like I'm moving on, I have so much shit coming up for myself that I'm focusing on so much good shit that I don't give a fuck anymore. Like, I don't care. If someone mentions him, if someone messages him, I, I don't give a fuck anymore. I will block. I don't want to see, like, I don't give a, I like, officially don't give a fuck. Officially don't give a fuck anymore. That's it. I'm like sick. I'm like sick to my stomach. <laughs> but you know what? We're growing. We're healthy, Trish. We don't need to make reactions. F***ing cheaters get exactly what's coming to them. A thousand times over so good luck with that and that's <laughs> oh, that's all i'm gonna say about that that's all i'm gonna say stop tweeting me i don't i don't want to see i don't want to see shit. i don't care who I, I i don't care i don't care and if if he, if he slept with you while we we're together i also don't care one a cheating once is good enough cheating twice okay i don't give a shit about the rest so hopefully y'all get it Ugh. Have them. Good luck to the next girl. Bye. I had a really positive, um, like, day to day. I had a really good interview at Entertainment Tonight. You know, I said always nice things about him, and um, I just, I really just want everything to just, just keep going. I, I'm like just in a good headspace on my own without all this. So, like, I just, you know, I see tweets, and I just, I just. I just don't want to see them anymore. That's the only reason I say anything. Like for the first time in a long time, I feel like I feel like positive and excited about things. Like I have a really big announcement tomorrow, and I just want that all to be like positive and love. Uh, whatever he's doing, I want positivity and love. I really do. Like it sucks, and like I see the tweets, I acknowledge it. It fucking sucks, but like I really, really do want to move on because like good, good things are finally happening happening in my life. 
And that's it. And that's it. And that's the last I want to say about it. It's the last I want to talk about it. Like, you know, it's, it's, ugh. I had a really fun Patreon video ready to post, but maybe I'll post it a couple days because it just feels weird. So, yeah. After that, she took to Twitter and she was replying to a lot of tweets. And this first one says, he was, I just found out, not gonna talk about it, but at least it gets me over him real quick. Hate cheaters, literally they can rot in the pits of hell for all I care. LOL, so guess I got cheated on twice in our relationship. Love insecure a-holes, pathetic really, not gonna make a video, he ain't worth it, but so glad I found out and so easy to move on. F word. I have big exciting things coming. It ended for a reason. He was unfaithful anyways. So I really never lost anything. Good riddance. Wrap that stuff up and bye bye. Honestly, I have so much exciting stuff coming up. I want to keep it positive and moving. God removed him from my life for a reason. And now I'm so, so, so thankful, truly. It's the perfect closure. It's fine. I literally stopped crying over cheaters a while ago. Like if they're going to stray, they ain't worth nothing. It's actually the lowest form of human. So there's zero point in crying or feeling sorry for yourself in the situation you're cheated on. So yeah, a few things, a few things to take away from this and all of that. Like, although I'm not a huge fan of Trisha Paytas, I, I am never going to, to like say anybody deserves to be cheated on. Like kind of like Trisha said in those tweets, I think that is just one of the most scummy moves that you could do, all right? Like, like if anything, break up with the person. Break up with the person and move on. Like, do that. Like, that is just my message to anybody out there who's thinking about cheating. So Jason Nash, you done messed up, we think. So I will say this because, oh God, what's been happening on YouTube the last few weeks, I will say this, until or unless Jason Nash comes out with his side of the story, I don't know, man. Like, what Trisha was saying in her Instagram story about how she found out that Jason Nash cheated, I don't know. It didn't really make sense to me, but I'm not going to say she's lying unless some evidence comes out about that. But anyways, these are all, I don't know, I guess allegations for right now. But as always, when I talk about these subjects, when I talk about cheating, like, first off, first off, if this ever happens to you, whether you're a, a woman, a man, whoever it is, husband, wife, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is, this is a sign of insecurity, okay? This is all them. Like, never, ever, ever think that you deserved to be cheated on, all right? This is all on their side of the court, all right? I talked about this a bit when it happened to Tana Mojo with um, fake Justin Bieber dude. Um, this is all insecurity. It's, it's a person where there was no amount of love or attention or affection you could have given that person, right? And although I covered a lot that was going on between Trisha Paytas and Jason Nash, like here's the thing, no matter how toxic that relationship might have been, you don't cheat on somebody. Like I don't care, like you will never, nobody will ever in, in my entire life come to me and have a justified reason to cheat on somebody. You break up, that's just what you do, all right? Now, although I don't agree with Trisha Paytas or her actions a lot of the times, like I do find like the tweets that she said to be very inspirational to anybody this has ever happened to, all right? Like Trisha Paytas, like she talks about how she's had so so many issues involving the closure around her breakup with Jason Nash. Like he talks about like the whole situation that happened where, you know, she ended up in the hospital, then she ended up in the mental hospital and all those things, right? And she talks about her recent substance abuse. Like breakups are hard. Breakups are so, so, so hard. But like she said, like finding out that he was cheating on her, boom. That could be instant closure, all right? Now, not entirely. For a lot of us, when we find this out, it's not necessarily instant closure in all cases, or it might be closure on that end, but there's a lot of resentment that comes along with it. Like, being cheated on, it hurts our pride, it hurts our ego, or it, it can affect our trust issues as we move on into new relationships and things like that. And as somebody who's been cheated on in the past, the best thing I can say is, when you're getting into a new relationship, don't bring the baggage from your old relationship and put it on to the next person. Like, it's not fair. Like, here's what I, th I have to think about. 
right? Or what I used to have to think about. I've been with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, for two years now. But when I was dating, like, like would I want somebody that I'm dating to blame me or have issues with me because of their ex? Of course not. So I need to leave that stuff in the past and keep moving forward. All right, but anyways, like I said, I don't know if Jason Nash is gonna come out with his side of the story or explain, you know, and say whether or not this is true or false. I don't know, but stay tuned. I will be giving you updates. And like I said, if you are a fan of Black Mirror, you best make sure that you come back because I will be breaking down each episode and seeing what lessons we can learn from them because I love Black Mirror. I love just seeing like how they talk about like where technology is taking us and what lessons we can learn. Oh, I love that show. So make sure you're staying tuned. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because like I said, I will be making some Black Mirror videos. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter. YouTube has not been notifying people lately of my videos. So follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I post when new videos are going up so they'll be able to get notified over there. All right, and a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here and get your name up in the credits, get access to some extra perks and benefits, click or tap right there. All right. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.